just back, back, back. Hey guys. Hey. We are reviewing the Divergent series, Allegiant. All right, so this movie, like all the other saga movies, stars 101 different people. Yeah. Your main ones are Shailene Woodley, who plays Beatrice or Tris in the movie. You have Theo James, who plays Thor. Jeff Daniel, who appears in this movie, who wasn't in the previous two, no. which I'm happy about because he is one of my favourite actors. And then you have Miles Teller, Zoe Kravitz, uh, Naomi Watts. And a league of other assassins. Gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> this is the third in the four piece installment of the Divergent series. Yep. In this movie, you're following Triss try to break out of Chicago and discover and figure out what's on the other side of the wall. And in doing that, they find that there's life on the outside. They have to travel through what they call the fringe, yep. which is like a really like desolate, eerie wasteland, a bit like Fallout, if any of you guys have played Fallout. And that's pretty much that's how the, the film movie. starts. Yeah, the whole Divergent series, I felt since the first one, it's like the Hunger Games illegitimate child i don't actually remember the first two films yeah so i like at all i feel like someone came up to me with the wall smith razor from men <laughs> black and just kind of you shall and, forget. <laughs> and you know <sighs> i completely have no idea so for me watching this film was like stepping into the saga with a pair of fresh eyes the last two films unfortunately merge with both the Hunger Games and Maze Runner films. Yeah. So I can't remember whether I'm remembering scenes from like a different movie or <laughs> this, <is> this movie <laughs> because not only are the films all the same, teenagers running around the wasteland, all the actors look the bloody same as they well. Really do. They wear the same kind of thing, they shoot the same kind of guns. They really do. It's all yeah. set in some kind of weird future. So going into this film with a pair of fresh eyes, I was actually really disappointed because yeah. I felt like not much happens in this film. The acting was really <laughs> bad. Like it I felt like so I was watching a year six play. There was no follow through with the emotions of the whole movie. Things would happen and then like the next scene, they've completely forgotten that that actually happened. <laughs> and now everything's back to normal. The graphics were really shoddy. Such a big series surely should have a really big budget. So it didn't make sense why I could tell they were walking in front of a green screen. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah. It didn't drag, which was a good thing. I don't feel like it was yeah. very long, but it was still just very frustrating to have to sit through it. It's very similar to the final Hunger Games in that not much happened in the last Hunger Games. Mm -hmm. there, was a, there was a lot of running around and I felt like this was exactly the same in this mm -hmm. movie. Not much happened at all. There were parts where there was definite action. Stuff was going down, but then someone would have to open their mouth and start acting again. <laughs> and I'm just like, God damn. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's one thing. There were some parts of the film like some of the gadgets and things which were really cool my inner child was like oh yeah, yeah that's yeah. so awesome however deep breath you said a lot of harsh things about this movie yeah. i think this movie did have some saving graces two of those are in the form of jeff daniels who played the overseer of everything that's happening within the movies mm -hmm and also Miles Teller who plays Peter who is like a constant thorn in everyone's side. I think both those guys are amazing actors. Miles Teller who plays Peter was able to add some charisma yeah, and some a bit character. Of a, yeah, a, a really good dynamic to the cast. Yeah, yeah. And similar to Jeff Daniels in the last Divergent where they lost Kate Winslet, I felt that they lost a little bit of prestige and a little bit of like solid acting experience. They, they were lucky to enough to get that, that yeah, back in back Jeff back Daniels. Daniels. Do you remember that movie Spy Kids? Oh yeah. It was like watching Spy Kids. Oh yeah. But, but I'm just... not but I'm not twelve anymore. So this is <laughs> so it's like watching Spy Kids as like a, a twenty three year old to round up. <laughs> The acting was poor. The score was just like non-existent. The graphics at times was just like, so God damn. Like even this morning before I watched the movie, <laughs> I watched an episode of Charmed and I was like, God, this, this, these graphics are really bad. I don't know how I liked this back in the day. And it was very similar to that. I think they actually ran out of money because there were parts of the film where the graphics were perfect. Like yeah. they were absolutely smashing. And then there's other scenes where you're like, this looks like an edited cut of the film yeah, yeah look at the amount of advertising that went into the first two films yeah this film really didn't get as much anywhere near the same amount of yeah. press or yeah. advertising so i honestly do believe they probably ran out of i money. wouldn't be surprised wait till christmas and it comes on <laughs> i then. won't be watching it at christmas i would myself. not i'll be watching uh, i'll be watching elf yeah that's how bad that was but guys <laughs> this has been true of you you didn't even uh, rate it oh yeah <laughs> zero <laughs> I'm gonna give this a D. It wasn't an F, like it wasn't a complete fail because like Precious said, there were times when 
the graphics were, were good and the action was was okay and it didn't drag but it definitely was a d for like disaster disaster <laughs> don't run out and watch this you know that website let me watch this yeah don't yeah. let me watch this <laughs> don't do it i'm gonna rate this film four Oof. out of ten you could have actually done something with this film yeah. and you just didn't yeah. you just like gave up halfway and just thought you know what wrap it up <laughs> <laughs> that would do cut even the end of the film was that abrupt if you blinked at the wrong point you would have missed the end of you the film you missed the end of the movie and then it was, it they're was telling that. you who the director is <laughs> I was like wait what <laughs> are we done there you go guys <laughs> It's been true with you. As always, leave a comment below. Share, like, subscribe, all that love stuff. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Peace.